the answer too much. Hi honeys, it's your queen bee. You're probably wondering how much makeup I bought because that's the title. And spoiler alert, I'm not gonna tell you until the end. Please don't skip. But yes, we are going to see how much of a problem, a hoarding problem and a buying problem. I'm a shopaholic. We're going to see what kind of problem I had this year. And I'm only going to be including makeup. Um, not because I didn't buy enough uh, like skincare to do this, but because makeup, I feel like I really overdid it on. And I kind of feel bad and this is like a wake up call for me. So I don't normally buy a lot of makeup. Um, I've only ever had like the bare necessities and I've been pretty good about like deep panning stuff and like actually using all of my products. Um, except for eyeshadow, I'm, I'm terrible about using all my eyeshadow because I feel like if I don't, if I save it, then I'll always have it and I'll always like have that one specific color. But because I bought too much, I'm like, okay, I can let go of this because um, I have it in this pan and this pan and Ooh, like I'd rather use it than waste it. Use it or lose it. That's basically how you have to look at it. So fair warning, this video is going to be more of a voiceover kind of video. And I'm sorry if you guys don't like that kind of stuff. But I just don't want to make this too long because I literally have... Oh, so much. And um, I don't want to keep bringing up products because not only will the editing kill me, um, and obviously, like, I'm, you know, in the same outfit as the last video. Shocker, because, um, yeah, same day, same video. Um, yeah, I, I just have so much going on for the holidays and, um, like, things coming up and plans, and I don't want to, like, be rushing. So, yeah. Oh, well. Don't worry, it's only a couple-day difference. It's not going to be, like, a week from now or something. Like, it's not too crazy like how, like how it was during the summer. So, don't worry. I'll be back. Um, it's just a couple days. So yeah. Um, I just did too much editing. <laughs> That's what I really don't want right now is so much more work. I miss a product. Um, it's probably all there because I threw it away or I just forgot about it because it's been a whole year or um, I just couldn't find it because I had to move all my stuff from my house to my mom's house. And I do have another video coming out this year that's similar to this one. Um, I do a month review every single month except for obviously the ones I was gone. And in that review I always do products and then events that happen in a month. Obviously because this is going to be a year review, I'm never going to do a December video like about month review. I'm just going to do a year review. So I'm going to actually divide that video up into two which is going to be my favorite products from the year and then my favorite events and like everything that's happened in the year. So it's not going to hurt my feelings if you guys don't want to watch this one. You just want to rather wait until I show off the products of the year. But that's not only going to have the products I bought this year, but products I've used all year round. And some of those products I've had for a year or so, like a, even longer. So it is going to be like a separate video. Um, this is not going to be like an opinions video or anything. It is just simply going to be how many of this do I have. And just explaining the brand, the shade, the color, whatever it is. And um, how many times I've used it. And just real quick, would I recommend it? Am I going to throw it away? Just a very, very short type of video. I can't count the products under the tree because, I mean, I physically just don't know what I'm going to get. I know some of my stuff is still coming in the mail and I know, oh my gosh, I need to stop buying things because I bought another batch of makeup. I know, pray for me. But um, I'm not going to count any of the stuff I get from Christmas until January in my January review. I feel like it'd be simpler and plus I'd actually have like a month to review it and to see, oh, do I like this? What am I gonna do with it? Like kind of thing. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing the products I put on my face first, like um, foundations and then working my way up to the thing I wore last. So all my little information and my little spiel. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the picture slideshow voiceover thingy. So in this first picture, we have the Lime Crime Sun Kissed Freckle Pin. This is the only freckle pin I've ever had. From like looking it up, because I was going to buy another one um, in a darker shade, if they even had one like that. This is the last one that they made. Um, they did make something else, or maybe it was a different like brand or company. But I couldn't even find freckle pin really online, unless I went to Beauty Bay. And I don't remember how much I spent on this sun-kissed one. But I don't think it was as much as the one is right now for sale. And the only brow pencil I have, um, the others I had obviously ran out, and this is the only one I currently have. Um, that's another factor to like tie into this video, is not all the products that I bought this year I'm going to have because I either threw them away or they ran out. This is the only one I have left. 
It is from Essence. It is in the shade brown. I have here four different color correctors. I know three of them are primers, but I'm going to say color correctors because I don't have any new primers. A free gift I got from Revolution. It came with one of my orders because I ordered um, so much stuff and it came in a mystery bag. I have yet to try it out. Um, so there's that. I have the I Heart Revolution Mint Chocolate Chip Color Corrector Primer. And I've only tried this once. I don't really remember if I liked it or not. I'm just trying to like use up the one I have from Hard Candy. And that's pretty much the um, rest of the story for these other ones with the Smashbox Redness Reducing and the Essence Primer Studio Redness Correcting. Obviously, I'm only ever going to have the green ones because I have a problem with um, like not really rosacea, but redness in my face. And again, I really haven't tried all of these. Um, except for the Essence and the Smashbox, the I Heart Revolution one is still new and I have not yet tried it yet. Foundation was like a really big thing for me this year. Um, this is the first time I've ever really tried a mousse foundation or a powdered foundation. Um, used to I would only use liquid foundation and I bought quite a bit of these. I didn't really know how many I bought until I really laid them out and looked at it. So I got the Essence Soft to Touch Mousse and it is in number 4 which is Matte Ivory. I really like this one but I will say that even though it's cheaper, um, the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse in the shade Light which is number 5, I do like a little bit better. And I don't know if it's really because it's creamier but you can really tell which one is the cheaper product but I do like both of them fairly evenly. So going top to bottom, the next thing is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder Foundation in the shade 105, which is Fair Ivory. The next one up is the L'Oreal Paris True Match in the shade N2, which is Classic Ivory. Then the next one I got was the Winky Lux Diamond Powder in the shade Light, which I think was the lightest one that they had. I actually did mistake this for a highlighter whenever I first ordered it. It came free in a, um, another little thing that I got for ordering so much on Winky Lux. And then the darker one in my foundations I got this year was the Maybelline New York Dream Wonder Powder. And it is in the shade 60, which is Sandy Beige. It is one that I've been using um, pretty recently because I started fake tanning again. This is from Essence. It is the Fresh and Fit Wake Awake Makeup Healthy Glow in the shade 20, which is Fresh Nude. Essence is one of those brands that I just discovered this year, along with Lime and Crime and Revolution, I Heart Revolution, Smashbox, and Winky Lux. Now, I already had a product from Winky Lux, but I just did um, buy more of their products. And then these two things next to the um, Essence Foundation, these are actually Revolution Pro foundation mixers, like a foundation adjusters. I got a light and a dark one just because um, I wanted to make sure that I could use either or whenever. So far, I mixed them together with um, the Essence Foundation, and they look really good. I mean, it feels good on my face. It doesn't feel too weird or like anything else. It's actually perfect. And then I have two concealers. These are the only two concealers I have. One is the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer. It is in the shade 20, which is light ivory. And then I have the Revolution <coughs> Conceal and Hydrate, and it is in the shade CO2. And again, these are the only two concealers that I have. And I mean, they're pretty good. I like them both. Uh, I've been wearing them both pretty evenly. This is the only setting powder that I have. It is from Essence. It is the Banana Powder. And then I have the Instant Matte Setting Spray, also from Essence. Um, I do have many more setting sprays, but they're not as good as this one, I'll say. So I'm really glad I have this one. I will be throwing away a lot of makeup, hopefully before the end of the year. This is a little wake-up call for me. But yes, this does perform very well, and I really like it. And then I have a loose setting powder. It is a baking powder from Revolution. It is translucent. And I have been using it a little bit more. And I will say it's really good. Like I bought it back in the summer when I thought I would be testing out how to bake. And like do contouring. And using it now I'm like oh. I really wish I would have like actually used this back then. Another Essence product. This is the Matte Blush Shade 20 which is Bury Me Up. And then we have the Physician's Formula Butter. I'm not sure what shade it is. It came in a little kit. 
but it is a really nice color and I really like it. Physician's Formula is not something I just discovered this year. I've actually been using it for quite a while. It's a good little drugstore brand. And honestly, their stuff is pretty high tier. It's good quality. I don't really have a lot of bronzers. Um, I've actually gotten rid of a lot of bronzers that were just way too dark and I never really realized it. This is the Essence Illuminating Matte Bronzer. And it is for lighter skin, like it says. And it is in the shade 1, which is Sunshine. And again, I have the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I don't think it has a shade. It came with the kit. NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. I've never really had anything like this for contour, like a liquid contour. I only ever used the um, stick or the palette from Wet n Wild. Um, both were from Wet n Wild, actually. I gotta say, the liquid definitely does give it more of a pop for the, like, contour, especially. I'm not a fan of the highlight part, but this is in the shade number one, which is Ivory. I am a hoarder with highlighters. I, it's a, it's a terrible thing, I know. And I just, I have to apologize for how much highlighter I bought. And I know I've bought more, but I have given away some. I've thrown away a lot. And uh, it's a shame that most of them were really still brand new. Um, I remember I threw away one that was Wet n Wild after I really liked it. Or maybe it's Hard Candy. Either way, I, it was a waste. And that is what I am making this video for. It's just kind of a reminder to myself. I have so much stuff and I need to use it all. I got the Mermaid's Heart from I Heart Revolution. This one is a very pretty, like, it has a lot of pretty colors in it. And just colors I don't normally have and I don't normally find in stores and that's why I got it. So there was a reason for it. And then I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like Bitty or Blitzy. It is the ColourPop one that is right in the middle of that in the Love Highlighter. And it's a good highlighter. Um, honestly, I probably wouldn't buy it again. But... ColourPop is a new thing that I discovered this year, and I do really love their eyeshadow. So then I have behind those is the Revolution Roxy um, highlighter and contour palette. The contour is gorgeous. It is better than any of the other contour palettes I've ever had. And the highlighter, sadly, is like a mix of the one next to it, which is the Sophie X. It has very similar shades. If you see, the top four colors are basically the same colors are inside the palette. Which is sad, but it is okay. Speaking of the Revolution X Sophie palette, it's a good palette. I like it. Um, again, Revolution is one of those newer things I got into this year. And below that is the Love Highlighter. Again, only got it because it was different colors. Some that I would normally buy at like Walmart or find out. in the Essence Pure Nude Highlight. I can't remember what shade it's in. Shade 10, which is Be My Highlight. And then I have the one behind that it is the I Heart Revolution or Chocolate Elixir Glow in the shade. The back doesn't have the shade and I can't remember what it's called. So it's just the pinkest one I think it was. So then right next to on the top is a new one that I got at the um, new store that's in my town. It is the I Do Care Straight Radiance and it is a highlighter gel. And I've never had like a highlighter gel like that before. I had liquid highlighter and like highlighter sticks. But this one's actually really nice. I really recommend it because I Do Care is one of those brands I see on Instagram and I just wanted to try it out. Underneath that is the Too Faced Highlighter and Blush Cocktail Mix. And it is in the shade Apricot in the Act. Apricot in the Act. And honestly, I love it because the smell, um, sometimes it's a little strong depending on like where you're from, um, if you like that stuff or not. I have bad allergies, so sometimes it can get a little hectic, but it's still okay. And Too Faced is actually one of those newer brands I discovered this year. Not really discovered, I've known about it since it came out. I really wanted the first palette that they made, um, which I think at that point was one of the chocolate ones, which I actually did get. And um, I got it this year though. So I've always wanted to try it and I actually do really like the brand and I'm going to keep going to it. The liquid highlighter that is at the top, um, that is from Revolution. It was one of those free things I got in the package of um, stuff from the Revolution website when I bought so many things. It is a pink liquid highlighter. I have yet to try it. 
Um, I think I did try it, but I've never put it on. So there's that. I need to kind of go through what I have and see if there's something old I can maybe replace it with. But I kind of doubt it. And then underneath is the white highlighter from Physician's Formula. I already had one of these, but this came in the kit. So I've just been kind of putting it in my purse for a little travel bag thing. And this is the only eyeshadow base I bought this year. It is from Essence. And honestly, it's a nice eyeshadow base. I will say for my skin tone, unless I tan, it is very dark. And it makes the colors go on a little bit darker and not so sheer and like light like how I like it. These were probably one of the first things I bought this year. These are all from Hard Candy. They are the Glitterazzi. And I don't have all the shades, but yeah, as you can tell, I have very many of them. And honestly, I don't even use half of them. It was kind of a waste. I wish I would have um, maybe looked at them better. I do use the pink one and the one that's like the third one. I'll put an arrow to it. I use those ones the most. All the other ones, it's just kind of like hit or miss on. <laughs> so again, back to the ColourPop. This is a newer thing that I got this year. I love this brand's like these eyeshadows, these Super Shocks. Oh my gosh, they are amazing. Um, I don't remember exactly. Hold on. The shades, I'm going to go from top to bottom and then like from left to right, top to bottom. So hopefully you guys can figure it out. And I have them kind of organized to where it is the main ones, then the hollow X, then the hollow top, and then the blitzy. So if that makes any sense. So the very top one on the left is the shade Millennial. The one below that is set to stun. And then the white one below that is haze. And fun fact. I got Haze because it is actually the name of my boyfriend's cat and I thought that was so cute and he's a little white and gray cat so I thought that would be like a fun little thing to do later on um, just for like a fun thing for myself I don't necessarily have to make a video of it but I just thought I could do like a cat themed look that is mostly why I got it it's a very nice color too the pink one from the halo top X the pink one from the halo top is the sherbet day and this was in the ice cream um obviously it was like sherbet but i don't know and then the one below that is creamsicle these came together and then these four from the i think it's blitzy i know i'm pronouncing it wrong the top one is gumball the one below that is walk on air the one on the very far right is seventh heaven and the last one is warm and fuzzy and these are all very nice all these colors are like valentine's colors i think and i love them so much now to apply these i don't use my um brushes i use my finger because i get more pigment that way i just feel the brushes don't do it any justice but like a sponge or your finger does it perfectly so then on to the two face palettes i have so many now and honestly, I think that these three were more of a waste of money than I actually realized it. Um, now, I got these on sale when I was on base for AIT. I was at Fort Lee, and there was a store that was closing down, and it was a makeup store. It was like a beauty shop, and it was at the small PX. Um, so shout out to all the military people who are watching and knows what I'm talking about. And shout out to the people who were there with me, like my best friend. And um, I can't remember who else went with us, but... This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach, Chocolate Gold, and Gingerbread Spice. The Gingerbread Spice one was actually on my Christmas list for this year, so I'm glad I got it. But honestly, since I got the other palette, which I'll show in a second, I just feel like it's too much. You buy so much of something, and then you just kind of realize that you really don't need it, and you kind of overspent, and now the magic's gone. So that's how I feel about these palettes. I have really yet to use any of them, and I feel bad, but I mean, I got them all for $8 each, which is better than the normal $50 each that they cost online. So these ones are the ones I bought first. They were from Ulta. I think I got them, like, on some kind of, um, I can't remember what it was, it was some kind of beauty sale, but I got the Too Faced Natural Eyes, the Too Faced Berry, and the... I know that's not the name of it. I know it's not just Barry. Um, I just can't think of it right now. 
And then the newer one, which is hot buttered rum. Hot buttered rum is actually out of all of them. These three are my favorite, but out of these three, hot buttered rum is my favorite. Natural Eyes is the second, and then Berry is my third. But they all beat the others I just showed you. So then I got the whatever palette from ColourPop. The colors online looked a lot prettier than they do in real life, I will say that. But nonetheless, I do like the colors. I just have yet to really use this palette. That's the problem. And then the EYN Bright palette, I have used so much. The colors are fantastic. And this is the first time I've ever used the EYN like, palette, like brand. I do want to get their, um, I can't remember if it was like 36 or whatever, but the berry shades. Oh my gosh, I really want that so badly. But I'm not going to get it until maybe next year for December for Christmas because I want to wait and use up some of the shades I have because I have too much stuff right now. And then the one, the tiny little circle, that is the Physician's Formula Butter Eyeshadow. And it came with a little kit. I don't know how it is. A, I don't know if it has a shade or not, but it literally reminds me of, and I said that before in the video, of the Too Faced palette with the, um, I don't know if it was pineapples, but it was the same thing as the berries. If that makes sense. The balm is another thing that I've heard of before. I just never had any products of it before. And this is the, what's the tea? And I think it's the hot, yes, it's the hot tea eyeshadow palette. And I honestly really like this, but I have yet to really use this palette. It's one of those things I really wanted to buy it because I love collecting things like this, like especially with the comic book kind of theme. And I just have yet to use it in an actual makeup look. And then next to it is the Essence Never Give Up Your Daydream eyeshadow palette. This one is more of a highlighter palette. It's just too light for eyeshadow, but I do appreciate it for like a highlighter, um, for like makeup videos, art videos, anything like that. But other than that, it's not a good eyeshadow palette. Now I know not all of these are opened up. I have here 12, and these are like, six of them are new, six of them are old, but these are the ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed Glitter Gel. And oh my gosh, I love these so much. Um, obviously the ones that aren't open, I mean, I'll just tell you what the names are. Um, but I don't really know if that's going to do it any justice. So the ones I have open, um, the very left one is Make It Rain. Then it is Candy Coated, Feel Good, Avenue of the Stars, and Bring the Heat. The reason I don't have the rest of them open is because... There are shades that are literally like the same thing. There are like four different whites and a couple different like other colors. There is one that I really, really wanted and it is Hopeless Romantic and it just has little heart chunks in it. It's very nice. I don't know why I didn't open that one too. And then there's an orange one that is in Vogue and that one's pretty nice too. And then there's Glam Rock, which is a yellow one. And then there's four white ones. One is You're a Firework, Disco Lady, Keep It Platonic, and Mint Condition, which is kind of like a greenish undertone, but not so much. I would even really put it in there with being too different. Um, I mean, there are different chunks of glitter in there, which is really nice, but not really the main focus was what I was looking for. These are like my pride and joy. These are eyeliners I got on Wish. There are like, I think 12 of them. The only thing is I do kind of wish it came with the black one just because I feel like for people starting out, that would be like a really nice like segue into eyeliners. They're very like easy to use and I'm not going to go into way too much detail about them, but I definitely do recommend these. There's also really no brand on it. I mean, I can't really pronounce the brand, but it's like Handia or Handania. I don't really know, but it's from Wish, so it's probably an off-brand thing. Um, I don't even know if this is actually a brand. I'll probably look it up and do another voiceover. And these just say glitter. They are glitter eyeliners I also got on Wish. Very good, very like nice. I love them a lot, and that's really all to say about them. So then I got the eyeliners. And I actually just did throw this one away, the Essence 2-in-1. It just kept drying out. It dried out way too quick. It just did not last like a normal eyeliner would. And it was just too bendable, if that makes sense. It, it's like a pin, but it just broke easy. But for like the month it worked, it was really nice. 
And then the Essence um, Extra Lasting Eyeliner in the shade Black. Love it. And I got the one in Nude. I love this one so much. I use it all the time. Then I got the Maybelline Lasting Drama Light Liner. And it is in gold. I can't remember the exact shade, but it's something like that. And then Too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliner. Amazing eyeliner. We'll definitely buy this again. Will probably be the only eyeliner I ever buy for, like, my main eyeliner. So, there's that. This is the only lash primer I have. I had one from, I think it was, like, Koki or um, something like that. But Walmart doesn't sell that brand. My Walmart, anyways, doesn't sell that brand anymore. So, I couldn't find it. So, this is the Essence Volume Boosting Lash Primer. And I like it for what it's worth. Then I have the Rebel London Lash Accelerator. Not the best, um, but it still works somewhat. And then the one I like the most is the Lash Sensational Maybelline New York um, Boosting Serum. I had way more mascaras than this, but these are the only ones I have right now because the other ones, um, well, I threw them away. <laughs> and this is, I don't know, I'm so wasteful and I hate it. Um, but next year I'm going to try not to be so wasteful. Um, so let's just hope. These are both... Essence mascaras, one is the Get Big Lashes Volume Boost, and the other is the Lash Princess. Both great mascaras. And then I have four from ColourPop. I have brown, red, plum, and wine in that order. And then, of course, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Love that mascara. I don't really use lip liners, but I do have a lot, and these are the new ones I bought. These came in kits, um, some of them anyways. These three came in kits. They are the Buxom. And I don't remember what shades they are. And then these two are the Milani um, Color Statement Lip Liner. They're really good too. And then the Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner. And then I got one from Follicure. And that's more of a newer brand to me. I've already had Milani stuff. And I know I'm saying that name wrong. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And now we're on to the lip products. These are the last products I have until my voiceover is done. I hope you guys had a nice little visit with me. Um, voiceover me will probably be in many more videos. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. So I got the ColourPop Lippy Stick. And then the ColourPop Just a Tint. And the Blitzy X ColourPop Lip Tint. Or Lip Stain. Lip Stain. And I'll be going into shades and details about that in another video, but I just don't have the papers on top of hand. Um, I wrote down notes, but I can't find them, and I don't want to go and get all of them and look through the box. So, sorry. And for sure I know that the Physician's Formula Butter, um, I'm probably going to throw that away. It just doesn't feel good on my lips. My lips are very, very sensitive, and they crack so easy. And this just didn't make them feel good at all. And then I have another one from Follicure, and then um, one I got for free from Revolution. Obviously not the shade I would normally go for, is super duper pink. Then I have two of the Revolution cushions. Um, the Revolution, or Revlon cushions. I got two of the Revlon Kiss cushions, and then one from Revolution. This is a lipstick. I don't, I don't really like it that much. I'm probably going to give it to my mom or something. Um... Because I already have a red lipstick that works pretty good. It is from Rinky Lux. And this just doesn't even compare to it. And then the Essence one I actually do like. And then the Maybelline Superstay Lip Crayons. Um, and again, I'll be talking about these in greater detail in another video with my favorites of the month. Or of the year anyways. This is just, you know, a numbers video. Then I have these three Buxom. Um, or I think that's how you pronounce them. Lip Glosses. Very nice. Two Clinique. Actually, four Clinique. The other two um, that aren't really marked, those are also from Clinique. And I love their, like, skincare stuff. Pretty great. And then the Too Faced Lip Insurance Original. Amazing product. And the last picture we're going to cover, I will not say all the names, but I have all of these Winky Lux products right here. And... I have a problem. I really, really do have a problem with hoarding things and buying way too much. 160. So that is how many products I have. I knew I was going to be lazy and not count them before I made this video. Um, so yeah, thank you future me for doing that and editing me. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I have that many products. I know a lot. Crazy, right? Um, yeah, so 
it's not a weird flex or anything. I'm not trying to like, you know, say, oh, I have so much. No, I literally do think this is a problem. And after um, like this year, I'm gonna try not to buy anything. But I did mention in my last video where I talked about gingerbreads and drugs. Um, <laughs> I did mention that I bought um, the December boxy charm. And uh, that was maybe not the best decision I could have done, especially since I'm trying to save my money and not buy so much makeup. Um, I just decided, you know, why not? Because it is something that, like, I've been wanting to try for a while, and I'm like, okay, after this, done. I might get the January one, and then call it done there, and then not do it until maybe I find something that I really like. <sighs> I don't know. Because I get, like, $25 for something you don't even know if you want or like. Uh, that's one of those things where I don't really like the mystery boxes because of it, but I'm like, ooh, mystery boxes. I don't know, it's weird. Um, so yeah. Obviously, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like, make sure to comment down below how much makeup you've bought this year, or, um, if you think I have a problem, because I really have a problem. Oh my god. And, um, make sure to check out the description, um, follow me, stalk me, whatever you want to do, and, um... That's basically it. Hopefully this video was fun, educational, entertaining, and enjoyable. And with all that being said, thanks for stopping by. Love you.